Can Botox for migraines cause pain deep inside of the ear and jaw pain? An hour and a half after my second set of Botox, a knot appeared then developed into pain deep inside my jaw ear area a few hours later, directly in front of my ear. It is aggravated by talking, chewing, and swallowing. My neurologist has been out of the office since the shot, but I had a general practitioner check it for infection, etc. They only found slight swelling and a painful lymph node in front of my ear. I attached a photo of where the knot formed and it is gone, but the pain and slight swelling is still there. Thank you for your question. You're asking a question, can Botox after, uh, for migraines cause pain inside the ear? Um, and you describe a scenario where about an hour and a half after you got some Botox for migraines, as pointed out or illustrated in the diagram, that you developed a, an area of swelling. And although your neurologist was away, you had um, your general practitioner noted that there, may have, there was possibly a lymph node and that the, the pain in the ear got worse with chewing. So I can certainly share with you my thoughts and what I think is the, is the etiology of your pain after this injection. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon, fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and I've been treating patients uh, with Botox since 1993 and in fact oculoplastic surgeons and neurologists were the first doctors to use Botox for neurologic issues such as facial spasms. In fact migraines became something that evolved out of the treatment of facial muscles where patients who have migraines noted that they appear to get better when they had their Botox. So I think that there is most likely a, a, an explanation for you, this situation. The muscle that the Botox was injected was the temporalis muscle. And this is a muscle that is important in terms of the, helping you with the migraines, but it's also a muscle that's used for chewing. And so it is, seems likely, based on your history, that when the injection was placed, that a vessel could have been traumatized and it led to bleeding within the muscle or hematoma. And that's where that swelling is likely to be the origin, especially with that time frame. So it's not specifically the Botox it I itself, but rather the trauma of the placement of the needle. Now this is an area which you know, the muscle, it's a muscle and it's fairly vascular. Therefore, it's, it's not surprising. It could have been just a small vessel uh, feeding the muscle. It doesn't have to be a major vessel. That being said, as that hematoma clears, there's going to be some pressure on nerves that also happen to provide sensory innervation in the ear. So it, and the fact that it's aggravated by chewing further uh, verifies uh, that this, this idea. Most likely, as this hematoma clears and as the inflammation of that, uh, that uh, activity of this area clears, then the pain should get better. I think that it's not, again, not the Botox itself, but rather the swelling that is responsible for this pain perception. So I think that uh, once you're able to discuss this with your neurologist, you can probably clinically uh, be, uh, see improvement uh, even in the course of a few days as this resolves. So talk to your neurologist about this. I think that um, from, from my own practice and uh, a lot of patients do uh, have Botox for migraines um, or actually come to me because they get Botox for cosmetic reasons and then it makes their, helps them as a benefit to, for migraines. But people who have more extensive migraines and more frequent migraines typically go to neurologists who at this point have more uh, expertise and experience with, with Botox for migraines, at least 
in comparison to an aesthetic specialist like myself. So I uh, reviewed this, this, this uh, with your neurologist. If there isn't resolution, you might consider some imaging studies, but chances are it's probably going to get better without any, any intervention or further investigation. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck, and thank you for your question.